Hey everyone, since World of Final Fantasy is just around the corner, I decided to make a short tips and tricks video to get you ready for the game once it's officially released. Some of these tips are very basic, while others are necessary to embrace them some of the most important and difficult monsters in the game. So let's get started. What the hell does Stacks. The stacking system appears to be the equipment equivalent in this game. Your stats get a major increase by mixing and matching monsters. Other than stats, if you stack two monsters with the same spell, you unlock the next generation of that spell. So it is important that you mix and match the correct monsters. Any stack combination must have a small, medium, and large character. Stability. This stat is important if you want to build a solid stack that doesn't fall apart easily. Especially since there are different attacks that cause a different amount of damage to the stability, and it's not purely damage driven. Trouble factors in unstacking a stack more than anything else. Attacking a weakness seems to cause more damage to stability from my testing attempts, but the most effect comes from toppling attacks. Unstacking. When a stack gets unstacked, the combination breaks apart and each monster or character retains their original stats before the stack is made. Hence, they are slow, deal less damage of all types, take more damage from all attacks, and have less HP. Topple Strength Topple attacks are there mainly for unstacking. When you have a difficult monster you can't kill, or you need to imprison a specific monster, you need to break the stack. The easiest way to break stack is by using attacks with medium or high topple factor. The topple strength is mentioned in the description of each skill. Fast forward. By holding R1, you can make all actions go much faster during the fight. Especially that gap when no one is taking a turn and the ATB gauge is just filling up. I highly recommend you let go of the R1 button when a monster is attacking so you can see the impact of their action and assess your next move carefully. Experience Distribution The experience you get is always divided by 6. In other words, if you get 600 experience, each character will get 100 experience. The inactive team seems to get around 8 to 9% of that amount, but I am still not sure about the formula because I keep getting a fraction when I try to split the experience on the inactive team. Even in case your active team has 2 characters instead of 3 in the stack, they will still get the same experience, divided by 6. If you try to leave your backup or inactive team empty, you'll still get the same experience, which gets divided by 6. There seems to be no benefit to leaving a blank or empty party slot other than maybe running the risk of losing a chance to imprison a monster if your roster is full. Even in that case, it might be said directly to the bank. I suggest you keep a space of 1 or 2 slots open just in case, until you get a confirmation that you can still imprison monsters when you have a full party. Healing enemies. I know that sounds crazy, but keep in mind that you can actually heal enemies. In case you're fighting a rare monster and you need to imprison it, you can heal it if it gets so low and try to match the criteria required to imprison it. Sometimes, you just need to land one more hit to break the stack, but that one hit will cause the monster to die. Your only solution here is to heal it, by potions or spells. Alright guys, that's it for the tips and tricks video. When the game comes out and I find more stuff, I'll share them with you right away. Subscribe if you are interested in this game as I'll start a let's play series and you can find the first let's play episode of the demo in the outro. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.